I just dropped a brand new update for my Final Cut Pro picture in picture plugin. So I thought I'd create a quick video showcasing all of the new features that you can expect and start using right now. The first feature is I have completely revamped the entire installation process and it is so much easier, not just for this plugin, but for all of my plugins for Final Cut Pro. All you need to do to install is double click this DMG file, then double click the installer and click install and you will be done. I'll go ahead and apply the picture in picture effect. And just like it used to be, we have all of the on-screen controls. We can go ahead and move this around on the screen, we can adjust the video position. However, I've added a highly requested feature and that is your video scale is no longer limited to just 200. It scales all the way up to 800% so that if you really wanna zoom in on your eyes, you can do just that. Additionally, I've added the option of changing your color mode to gradient. So setting that over to gradient, we can see all of our gradient settings in here. We can adjust the colors of this as we need to. So now we have this kind of red and blue thing going on. So all of that is super handy. But all of the new features come in the form of all of these other effects found inside of the picture and picture effect. The first feature that was the most highly requested feature that I add to this effect is adding a glow effect, which is highly inspired by Ali Abdal. To apply this effect, you'll wanna go ahead and apply your typical picture and picture effect. You can shrink it down, move it into whatever corner you want. You could go through, you could change what kind of shape it's got. So we've got the octagon. Then for clarity, I'm just gonna go ahead and disable the outer border plus I'm gonna disable the drop shadow so it's just as clean as possible from there scroll down through your effects to the border glow and it should be noted that this also works on pretty much any other effect so if you had an icon that you wanted to have this glowing edge you could do that as well from there we'll scroll down through the border glow settings and you'll see that we have all of the same options that we had originally in the picture and picture effect so I can increase the width of this the offset we can of course change the colors to our liking so maybe I'll make this more of an orange and teal effect and you'll also notice that if I zoom out we have these on-screen controls that we can click and drag around however they're animated so if I were to push play you'll notice that they're kind of flying all over the place on the screen so they have a nice oscillating effect so just drag these into position where you roughly want them and then they will animate automatically for you back and forth. However, if you don't want that animation, you can scroll to the very bottom of the glow effects and just select hold gradient. That's gonna lock these into place wherever you place them on the screen, which is really, really handy. Next on the list of features is that I've added a couple different animations so that you can introduce your picture and picture effect in creative new ways. Originally, I only had this singular animation type. If I push play, you'll see how it auto shrinks down to wherever I place this in the screen. But now you have the option of applying a secondary effect, which would be pip animations. Dragging that on, I'll go ahead and hide all of the picture and picture effects, and you'll see that we have these additional options. The first is pop in, pop out. So if I push play, you'll see how that pops in really nicely. We can adjust the speed on that. So now it's a much slower pop in or a much faster pop in. Additionally, you can adjust how many cycles are going on. So if I slow this down, it's gonna look a little bit more rubbery when it bounces in. We can adjust stuff like the acceleration and the ramp duration, and all of these are going to really adjust how the effect is appearing. Next, we can also select rotate in, rotate out. And if I push play, you can see that is rotating in really nicely. So these can just be fun, creative ways to introduce your picture in picture effect. And I definitely wanna add a lot more in the near future. And finally, the last feature that I've added to this plugin is the long shadow effect. So I'll go ahead and apply that. You'll see that it's giving me this nice long shadow. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and you will see this on-screen control here, which we can adjust. So if I just click and drag, you can see we can adjust this long shadow to go wherever we want it to. We can adjust the scale end of it. So if we want it to come down to a singular point, you can do that and we can adjust the color. So I'm gonna set that to a gradient. Now it's this kind of gray down to black, but I'm gonna go ahead and set it over to a nice blue color. And additionally, I'm gonna set the opacity on the second point down to zero. So now it's just kind of fading off into nothingness. And just like that, we've completely changed how the long shadow appears. This is of course a free update to everyone who has previously purchased my picture in picture plugin. You'll be getting an email shortly with instructions on how to install it. Now, if you wanna see all of the other features that this plugin offers, then I strongly suggest you check out this video where I do a full breakdown of the plugin minus the new features that I showed you in this video. Video. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.